So carrier Ethernet market is uh, expected to grow tremendously and uh, there is a reason for that. Uh, service providers are putting a lot of uh, uh, investment into carrier Ethernet space uh, and the primary technology of choice for service provider is the Ethernet going forward. Uh, number one, Ethernet being a very simple technology to use. Uh, number two, it's a very economical technology to use. And number three, it has a continuous roadmap uh, for evolution. In terms of economics, actually, recent uh, economic downturn favors Ethernet kind of technologies because it cuts the bottom line, cuts the cost per megabit at the same time, unable to service, uh, you know, provision new services on top. Uh, in terms of continuous roadmap, uh, gigabit Ethernet to 10 gigabit Ethernet to 40 to 100 preserves the service provider investment into their networks, into their asset, and because they don't have to replace any cabling or deal with a lot of complexities, you know, that get along with the new technologies. Um, so basically, uh, the expectation is that the carrier Ethernet market will grow as much as uh, about $34 billion. Uh, which is a huge opportunity for everybody. And most of this investment uh, is going to be put in terms of uh, routers, switches, and optical gear. And Brocade being, uh, you know, carrier Ethernet leader or routing uh, leader uh, has huge opportunity in this space. Uh, Brocade NetR and CER 2000 series uh, helps uh, the service providers um, across a variety of areas uh, with dealing with some of the challenges that are brought up. Uh, in a nutshell, basically, it helps them uh, cutting their cost per megabit down in a variety of ways while improving the top line revenues uh, to keep the demands that I highlighted. So number one, uh, the NetRNC ER2000 series doubles the routing capacity compared to existing competitive products in the same form factor available out there. While they can double their routing capacity means that they can uh, offer more services uh, and squeeze more customers in the same rack space and almost double their revenues in that aspect. Uh, number two, the NetRNC ER series uh, compresses the vertical uh, space in the service provider POPs or SP data centers uh, by the amount of 33%, which is huge saving uh, compared to the competitive product. Cuts down their power expenses uh, to about 66%, which is huge uh, in terms of monthly expenses. So when you think about offering cloud services, for example, where you have to uh, keep uh, the cost very low as pay you uh, grow kind of uh, model. Uh, the CER helps a lot in the background to offer those kind of low cost services to be successful. The CER series offers about three, three X the performance compared to the competitive products in the same form factor, uh, while about roughly half the cost. So that's huge saving in terms of initial deployment cost as well. For any greenfield deployment, that is meant to replace those legacy technologies and migrating to Ethernet overnight or, you know, whether it's a replacement or it's a greenfield opportunity for carriers. CER can, number one, help uh, tremendously with initial cost so that they are ready to compete uh, in terms of bandwidth compression that I pointed out, in terms of cutting down the cost per megabit and uh, a cloud-ready or services-ready network with the least cost possible. And uh, number two, save ongoing cost in terms of power and cooling and utilities uh, that keep them competitive uh, in this space. At the same time, the CER is ready to offer uh, at value-added services on top. So if uh, this was one aspect that while cutting their cost down uh, in the legacy technologies or replacing value-added, you know, traditional triple-play services like voice video data, but also the service providers who want to step into value-added uh, high-margin services uh, like, you know, MPLS-based services like VPLS, VLL, uh, provider backbone br uh, bridging, uh, virtual private networking can offer these advanced services even if they are smaller service providers or carriers. Uh, equal to the larger carriers to make additional, uh, to generate additional revenues on top. It's a win-win story for carriers in all aspects.